Hey all my beautiful people, how are you today? I am going to be soaping, yay. Love it when I get to do a soap. It's so therapeutic for me, I swear. I love to soap. It just, it relaxes me, even though I burn up half the time. But it relaxes me and it just, I don't know, it just calms my nerves and I just love to do it. And I think of it as artwork and I can create these beautiful pieces and I just love to soap, you guys. Uh, you might hear my kids in the background. It is officially summer break and they might be making a little bit of noise. You might hear me tell them to quiet down, but... So, don't mind them in the back. Uh, in my bowl, I'm, I have my uh, oatmeal and my powdered goat's milk like I always use. Uh, I'm out of Kalen clay right now, but that's okay. Um, I should have some in here soon. Um, we're going to go ahead and give it a buzz and add our coconut milk and our cream. Just make sure that everything on the bottom that's settled is um, coming up. Alright, so here with our coconut milk and our cream. You guys know I like to put it in ahead of time. That way it's less blending with the lye in there. Oh, and the name of this soap is going to be Venus after the God of Love and Beauty. And, the, and I'm going to be piping um, a kind of flower on the top. I've never... I've never done this kind of flower and I really don't have the right piping tip but I am going to do my best to um, to make what do with what I've got. cream and milk is good and mixed in. I'm going to go ahead and add my lye and my fragrance. Add my lye first. See if we can't get all of it in there. And then I'm going to rinse this out so I can have something for my stick blender to um, clean my stick blender off with. That looks good. Um, we're going to do a light purple, a dark purple, and an orange. And then the flowers that I'm going to be piping on top is going to be a dark purple and an orange. So let's hope and pray that this doesn't accelerate on me. It's my own scent blend. Try not to mix too much. Alright, now I'm going to go in with my extra ounce of super fat. And I can really tell a difference when I don't add it. I absolutely love the feel that it gives my soaps when I add my extra ounce of super fat and my glycerin at the end. I really, really like it. And I'm using mango butter as the extra fat in there. Uh, mango butter also helps with the hardness of the bar, so it'll help harden it. And glycerin is a humectant, and it draws moisture to the skin. That looks good and emulsified. Now I need to weigh out and get my cheat sheet over here. And I'm already burning up with the white here and, and clean up my mess I made. I hope I made enough topping. Usually I make way too much topping, so I uh, dulled it down. Well, didn't dull it down, but. I didn't Why? use diet towel. There you go. I didn't oh, use as. Is she here already? No, but she will be in like five minutes. Um, I didn't get. I didn't make as much yeah. for the topping this time, 
but looking at it I'm hoping it's enough so there's my white that looks good and mixed let's go to this is my topping and it is thickening up that looks good let's go to this orange looks like I'm going to be doing a dowel swirl again because it's too thin for not too thin but it's too thick for a drop swirl which I don't mind doing the dowel swirls because I think they're really pretty anyway the bamboo stick so there's that topping and that topping I love you mommy I love you too buddy and this one so I'm going to put that back in there because I know I'm going to need it in there. Let me get my mold eyes. Alright, here's my mold and i got to put my little clips. Some people, I know you guys say to um, use soap batter, but I don't really like doing that. Because it gets soap batter all over the... Oh, oh pooey, what's that? Pooey, really? Um, it gets it all in the inside, and it's hard to clean when it's like that because um, you can't necessarily put the wood underneath water, or so it'll warp. So you gotta pretty much scrape it off. Are they thick um, enough? Yeah, they're thick enough. All right, guys. It's it's pretty thick. All right, you're in my lot. All right, let's start with the white here. Oh, it's oh, I thought you was piping. Not yet. I haven't even started the soap. I'll, I'm not gonna pipe until I'm done with the soap. You're starting a lot. Okay, there's a little foundation of white. Now let's go with some purple. you guys can see what I'm doing yeah and I put that little bit just a tiny bit of the um, neon in there just to brighten the orange up a little bit because uh, the orange that I have on its own doesn't really show up that well in the soap And I really like these colors together. I've never used these colors together before. Alright, so some more white. And then I need to save the rest. Hold on. I need the rest of that for the topping. Oh no, I got the purple in it. the rest of that white for the very topping because I'm gonna the way I'm gonna be piping I have to have a foundation of white which I think that would look pretty the foundation of white so getting a little bit of that purple in there wasn't too bad I guess I'm sweating up a storm already. Yes, you are. I know it. Alright, there's all for that purple. Let's go in with our what we got left of our orange. And then we'll swirl it. Now, 
I'm not going to spoil it just yet. Let's get this light purple in there. All right. Daddy, you're so long. All right. We'll tap down. I think I can take these off now. And now with the lighter purple. I really think these colors are going to be pretty swirled together. I cannot wait to see how it turns out. I love doing the dowel or the bamboo stick swirl. It's one of my favorite ones to do. I've been doing it a lot here lately. And that's because I absolutely love the swirl that it gives. It does. It gives this really nice swirl. All right. That is pounded. Now let's get ready to swirl it. So I'm going to start from the bottom and go up. And go all the way down like that. And then turn it around and go the other way. All right. There we go. So that is good and swirled. Now let me see if this is thickened up enough to where I can lay it across the top. Because I do want a white foundation. Let me get a chalk or a... Let's see. That one's got white on it. Please be enough. All right, so I did have enough. Good. I was hoping it was enough. I almost didn't. I almost put all the white inside the soap and didn't save none for the top. That wouldn't have been very good. Because then the flowers on top of that swirled soap, that wouldn't have looked right. And it looks like the little bit of purple that I accidentally got in there isn't bothering it. I've seen so many people spread out their colors with these little um, popsicle sticks, but I am just not that great at it. Because I want a smooth surface. looks about as good as it's going to get. Alright. So now let me get a paper towel and I will go around the edges. Looks like I could have filled the mold up a little bit more. It's not full to the top. The silicone ain't. But that's okay. Alright guys. So let's check on our piping. Oh yeah. That's ready. That's definitely ready. Let's check on the orange. 
and that one's definitely ready. All right, guys, uh, I am going to go get my piping bags, and we'll be right back. Now that I got mica and soap all over me, I've got my orange in this bag, and I've got my purple in this bag. And you guys, I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is that I'm going to try to draw flowers on here. Um, I'm using two tips that they're almost the exact same thing, except for one's a little bit bigger. Uh, the way I'm going to draw these flowers, I'm just going to lay them on top of each other. So, hopefully, um, we'll get something that resembles a flower.
All right, guys. So let's put a little bit of glitter on it. And this is what it looks like. Completely, completely out of my comfort zone, but I did it. Uh, it doesn't really look that much like flowers, but I tried, you guys. And I, again, underestimated or overestimated how much piping I would need. But this is my Venus soap, and I hope you guys liked it. I'm going to put her to bed, and we'll give her a cut tomorrow. So, till then, guys. I'm Crystal here, and we are back to cut Venus. This is what she looks like. Uh, this is the first time I've done anything like this. Uh, I've been trying to experiment with my piping tips a little bit to see what I could come up with. So, they're not all that great, but they're still pretty. I think that they'll be alright. Um, I was excited to uh, cut into this because I've never done this color combination before. I've never done purples with orange, and I thought that would be a neat thing to do. So, uh, because of the flowers, I'm not going to cut off an end piece. I'm just going to go ahead and cut into it. Oh, wow. So, there's the inside, and then the flower on top. I love you, too. Let me get... I like those swirls. I'm trying to kind of go out of my comfort zone when it comes to piping to see what all I can come up with. I really like those purples with the orange. I think it looks pretty. Something that I've not tried before. And I absolutely love doing the soaps with the swirl on it with the dowel. It's so pretty how they turn out. I just think they're gorgeous, The how the dowel makes them swirl on the inside like that. Isn't that gorgeous? That is so pretty. I absolutely love it. Oh, I like that side. These really don't have high tops on them, so they're a little bit smaller. But I love the swirls in the top. I think they're pretty. I mean, I might not have done the world's greatest job on them. But I think I did an okay job. It's something different. I like different. I like unique things. Mm, and it smells really good too. Nice clean summer scent. I've been getting into doing summer soaps here lately. Don't mind my kids. They're on uh, summer break and they're driving me absolutely nuts. And I still got two more months of it. Huh? I think I might go crazy by the time it's over with. Yeah, at least I don't have seven. Got four, that's enough. But I like this color combination together. I think it looks pretty. And if you guys could smell how good this stuff smells, it's absolutely gorgeous scent. And last piece. On the top. 
There's our end piece. All right, guys. So that was the making and cutting of Venus. Um, if you like this video, please do subscribe and hit the like button. And, of course, comment. Love it when you guys comment. Uh, to all my subbies out there, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. I truly do. And we are growing as a family. I am almost up to a thousand subscribers, guys. And I cannot believe it. And I couldn't have done it without you all. And there will be another giveaway once we hit a thousand. I just, I'm so excited to have all you guys a part of, you know, my videos and stuff. I want to be able to give back to you and give you guys gifts. So be on the lookout for that um, contest. Uh, video it'll probably come out around when I hit a thousand subscribers so all right guys till the next video bye bye